Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. Uh, let's have a look at uh, Yamato Takeru Zero uh, with a couple new characters. And then uh, we'll look at uh, Shambhala first. Uh, she is the wood uh, colossal monster. And uh, looking at her stats, uh, HP is good, uh, almost uh, tank status, I would say. Uh, attack is excellent, about 32,000, and then there's a, a gauge on top of that. And then speed is 240. Uh, which is slow, uh, but actually for being power type, this is uh, on the high-ish side. And um, she's a pierce as well. And then uh, there are not a lot of uh, pierce power types out there, uh, but they lose lots and lots of speed as they move through characters. Um, so, and I always say this about all pierce power types, uh, but think of them as a spear, uh, where you throw them and then they just stick to wherever it is that they... Uh, wherever you aim to. Um, so you can't really expect them to, say, pick up uh, a lot of uh, bump combos. Uh, but if you use them very strategically, then you can get a lot of use out of them. And they're especially good for going after weak points of uh, bosses, so... Alrighty, and then looking at the uh, abilities, uh, Flight and Null Wind, and then on the gauge is Null Gravity Barrier. And then, uh, yeah, Flight Null Gravity Barrier is a very versatile um, Null ability set. And so she can go to lots of uh, different missions. Uh, no wind, still not very useful, but uh, there will be certain cases where that is useful. And then uh, looking at the bump combo, she's got the Rebound Laser XL, and uh, she's the first character with the XL version. Uh, but since she is a power type, the strength of the bump combo uh, goes down to the regular um, attack level. So it would be the same as uh, Izanami. Uh, but, since it's XL, the lasers would be much more uh, thick, um, so it'll hit more guys and then also have better chances to get into weak points. Um, so pr still pretty powerful if you can, uh, you know, get it all stacked up on top of itself. And then, uh, looking at the uh, strike shot, this is a meteor strike shot. And uh, this is pretty great for her because she's a pierce, so she can uh, pretty much hit whomever she aims for. And then, um, actually, her attack combined with her multiplier uh, makes this the most powerful meteor strike shot in the game. Uh, this is even more than uh, Agnemut or Zeus, even. And, uh, yeah, so actually I could maybe bring her to uh, Daikokuten and then do that uh, meteor strike shot on the first stage with the uh, masks. And maybe skip a gauge. Uh, but I'm not going to do that uh, this time around. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you use her with a uh, speed-up uh, character, um, that can really improve her uh, meter strike shot. And um, yeah, also just uh, standard hits. So yeah, pretty strong character. Uh, doesn't really play like any other uh, impossible or colossal monster. Okay, well let's uh, start the tape. And then um, we'll talk about my other new character here in a second. Uh, but yeah, we are going to uh, Yamato Takedo Zero. Uh, gimmicks here are mines and uh, these needle panels. Uh, there's nothing that can be done about the needle panels except for just uh, avoiding them altogether. And then mines, we want either Minesweeper or uh, Flight. And then uh, the second character that I'm using, this is uh, Amano Murakumo. And uh, she came from a hatcher that we had recently. I pulled specifically for her and got her on my last uh, 10 shots, so I was pretty happy about that. Uh, she has Minesweeper and then a Paladin Slayer, and then uh, the boss of this quest is a Paladin, so uh, she'll get extra damage there. Uh, she's also a power type, so she'll have a very good attack. And then um, the main reason to use her is for her uh, bump combo, which is a, a one-way laser. Uh, this is not a uh, lock-on, this is the kind that goes straight up. Um, so there's no surprises about where it will go uh, if you use it. And uh, yeah, the Paladin Slayer is uh, passive in the character, so uh, that will increase the damage of the one-way laser. So if we can get her positioning right, and then uh, hit her with my other characters, then that would be a um, good source of damage. Alright, and then there we saw the rebound laser from Shambhala, and yeah, it did look a lot uh, thicker than the standard L version. And then uh, the other two characters that I'm using are uh, Robin Hood Evolution. Uh, he's just basically the best character for this mission, and I really like him, so that's why he's here. And then uh, finally I'm using a Zeus Transcendent, and then uh, he is a good support character. 
Um, and then he also has the uh, Blast Bump combo to help uh, get out more Bump combos. And then he's also a Pierce, uh, so that makes it very easy for him to hit uh, Amano Murakumo uh, to get that uh, Bump combo out. And uh, yeah, keeping that in mind, uh, Shambhala is also a good uh, partner with uh, Amano Murakumo uh, because uh, she is a Pierce as well. So yeah, first time using this team. I think first time using two pierces uh, in this mission. Um, I don't like to use a lot of pierces for this mission because it makes uh, getting rid of these uh, blue demons more difficult. Uh, bounce characters have a better time of getting rid of the blue demons. Um, but just to uh, test out the uh, one-way laser, I included uh, two uh, pierce monsters. Uh, but yeah, the uh, blue demons, they have, a, um, they have an explosion attack, um, so we do not want to get hit by those. So we want to take them down uh, before their uh, high count uh, attack. Alright, so positioning right now for Amano Murakumo is good. Uh, however, uh, the character that we see there is a uh, samurai, not a paladin. Um, so no extra damage there. Um, but still, pretty decent damage there from both uh, Murakumo's strike shot, or bump combo, and also uh, Shambhala's uh, bump combo. Alright, two turns left until the uh, two demons uh, blow up. So I'm going to concentrate my attacks on them. And then uh, later on, or uh, rather in the JP game right now, uh, Merlin, the transcendent form of Merlin, will have the uh, kind of the regular strength version of the Rebound Laser XL. And it's ridiculously strong. <laughs> A lot of players were thinking that the um, kind of the era of the Rebound Laser was over. Uh, but after the release of uh, Merlin, uh, that changed a lot of people's minds. Uh, but yeah, there I did a side-to-side uh, -side attack with uh, Murakumo, uh, just to maintain her positioning at the bottom of the screen. And uh, she started out at the center, I went left, and then she ended up on the right. So you can kind of think that if you do a uh, left-to-right attack, that she'll end up a little bit behind uh, where she was. Um, so that can be a good way to sort of gauge where she would end up. And yeah, there we saw more bump combos, so that was very good damage there. And more good damage there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Yamato Takedu Zero does have that uh, speed bomb attack. And uh, depending on the speed of the character it hits, it does more damage. Uh, both Shambhala and Murakumo have very low speed. Um, so we can expect a lot uh, less damage from uh, those two. And yeah, we got through that first uh, mini boss stage pretty quickly. Uh, let's see if we can do the same for this uh, second stage. Okay, positioning looks good. Uh, Murakumo is right underneath the weak point, so let's hit that. Excellent. And then uh, now Murakumo is out of position, so we'll focus on getting the rebound laser into the uh, weak point over and over. And that is more than enough. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I do feel that um, for this mission, Yamato Takedo Zero, the uh, pre-boss stages are more difficult than the boss stages. Um, probably because I'm using the uh, strike shots for all of the uh, boss stages. Um, but here I would like to uh, position uh, Murakumo, of course, at the bottom of the screen in the center, um, so that I can get in that uh, laser there. And then uh, here with a Robin Hood, I was trying to bounce off the top of Okita and uh, get in between the two demons. Uh, didn't quite happen, uh, but we did get uh, lots of attacks in everywhere, so that turned out okay. Okay. 
So we'll get some more bump combos in here. Very good. And then just like the last uh, mini ball stage, we'll just do the left to right uh, using Zeus's uh, blast bump combo to get the rebound laser into the boss here. Very good. All right, so I got through that stage uh, without any strike shots, so that'll leave me in better position for the uh, last two stages. Okay, so we'll do a little bit of damage to the boss there, uh, but more importantly, kind of maintain her positioning. And then we'll just clear the stage with a Robin Hood strike shot. Okay, very good. Yeah, I do like uh, this stage better to use Robin Hood Strike Shot because the boss is right next to the wall and because I have all of my other Strike Shots uh, left over. So let's use uh, Zeus's uh, Meteor Strike Shot. We'll hit all of these uh, large targets and the boss, of course. Okay, pretty darn good damage there. Third strongest Meteor in the game. <laughs> And then let's use a Shambhala Strike Shot. And then um, I'm going to go up, I'm going to hit the Blue Demon, come down. And yes, also great damage there. And then that will leave me wide open to uh, shoot uh, Mudokumo's Strike Shot. Okay. And that Strike Shot, that Tackle Strike Shot, will do about 2 million damage in a boss's weak point. Um, so a very strong uh, bump combo. And it also charges up in 12 turns, um, so it's not a big deal to use it. And you can certainly use it for um, just positioning. Okay, so that was Yamato Takeda Zero with a couple of new characters. And uh, yes, I'm feeling better and better about uh, this mission all the time. Alright, uh, we'll see you again. Thanks for watching. Take care.